Hey guys, it's Josh here with Strangel Films, uh, and I have with me the newest member of our team. This is the C300 Mark II. The Mark II update puts this camera firmly in the world of 4K. Uh, it shoots 4K internally up to 410 megabits per second. It'll also output raw 4K if you want to use an external recorder. To handle the new data rate, the camera now uses CFast cards, which are significantly more expensive, so that's definitely something to think about. Um, They've also changed the batteries to the new BPA-30 and BPA-60 batteries, which are three and $500 a piece respectively. There are a lot of other little improvements that the camera makes. Uh, one thing that's really nice is that the camera is sturdier, uh, more solid. Um, there's a few little things I really like that they changed the cable system on the LCD screen. So the cables are fully detachable, so you can carry a spare. And if one of them breaks, you're not sending your LCD screen to Canon to get it fixed for $500. The mounts, uh, they've done away with the separate PL and EF versions of the cameras, and the mounts are now interchangeable. We have no idea how involved the process that is, how long it'll take, how much it'll cost. Uh, we're still waiting to get details on that. Hopefully, you'll be able to simply buy one mount or the other and do it yourself. Fingers crossed that's how things work out. So the other thing that's cool that they've added is the ability to do proxy recording while you're recording 4K. You can be recording 4K to the CFast cards and a 2K uh, a proxy to the camera's internal SD card at the same time. Uh, you can use that for dailies or even as a deliverable in a pinch. And it does have some expanded off frame rate capabilities from the original C300. You can now shoot at up to 120 frames a second in 2K slash HD. That's good, it's not as good as the, some of the Sony cameras. Um, and the other problem is when, it go, when you're doing that mode, it crops the frame a little bit, which is complicated by the fact that you can't put the camera into the cropped frame mode when you're doing regular speed. So that's just, you know, one thing. It'll be interesting to see uh, what people's reaction to this camera is um, and how it gets adopted. There's a lot of competition in the 4K market. But I would say certainly in terms of just pure quality of the 4K image for price, this camera does really well. Always love to talk gear. If you have any questions about the camera, if maybe if you want to come in and give it a try, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, um, and hope to hear from you soon. Thanks very much.